Well, hello again from Kingston. As you can probably tell by the scene behind me, we've got a working weekend. And you'll hear all about it and more in this week's update. Thanks for watching. We haven't paid a lot of attention to the West End recently, so let's start there. A great deal of work has been going into the green wall on the south side, and it's almost complete. It makes a smooth transition onto the bridge proper, where concrete has been laid out to about the halfway point of the concrete section. On Wednesday, Maple Concrete Pumping and CBM were busy delivering concrete to the junction between spans 8 and 9. Note the need, in this week's inclement weather, to insulate the curing concrete. Based in the West End, boat crews have been out most of the week working on collection of the styrofoam. The good news is that new flotation collars for the turbidity curtain may soon make this a problem of the past. Another encouraging sign of progress this week was the delivery of large drainage pipes for the bridge by Mulrooney. These are very likely amongst the last to be installed. On the same day, Thursday, CBM were busy providing concrete for most of the day to build the side wall on the north side of the bridge. And all the while, angle brackets are being delivered and installed to create the safety sidewalk that is now up to span 11. The same angle brackets, with the same purpose, are steadily increasing in number on the steel too. It's been a busy week up on the steel, with three loads of rebar arriving and a great deal of work being done on slab laying, bracket mounting and general progress. The volume of work involved drove the installation of two sets of scaffolding stairways. On the roadway towards Highway 15 this week, a great deal of effort went into levelling it and completing the installation of utilities. Black and MacDonald, not for the first time, excavated, prepared and poured the concrete of a lamp base on Wednesday. But the activity that was perhaps the most noticeable on the East End was the activity by Sousa Ready Mix to pour curbs and sidewalks. The Sousa crew was busy throughout the week, making considerable progress. Their contribution was very obvious. But on Wednesday afternoon, with a threat of low temperatures and a little bit of light hail, they were forced to tarp their work. On a very foggy Thursday morning, they filled the median at the top of Gore Road. But their crowning achievement this week, achieved on Friday, was to lay curb on Lower Gore. Indicating that work on the roadway is now all but complete, less the surface. Although work on the installation of utilities continues, particularly on and around the intersection with Highway 15, there's a sense that things are coming to an end. Although a desire to keep things moving forward and cause minimum disruption to traffic resulted in Saturday working. Tomlinson has fielded a seasoned, hard-working crew and they do not hang about. Yeah. 
even taking the passage of fire trucks on an emergency call through the site entirely in stride. And after that excitement, it's probably time to relax with some wildlife. Well, it's been a busy week and we've had mixed uh, weather. We'll see what next week brings, but it's forecast to be warmer. Anyway, follow these updates and you'll discover for sure next Sunday just what happened. Bye now.